Hey guys, my name is Tace, and welcome back to Operate Now. Today we're doing tonsil surgery. Now, a long time ago, I got my tonsils out. I've always wondered how they did it, so of course I went to medical school. Now I know how to do it. I'm going to show you guys today. Of course, I've got Miss know it all Nurse Laura with me today. <laughs> all right, you better not get in my way, hog my limelight, Laura. You know what's good for you. I'll send you back to cleaning bedpans. That's right. <laughs> of course. Don't do this at home. Leave it up to the experts like me. Okay, here we go. Meet Scott. Scott has tonsillitis. This causes an infection in the tonsils. To avoid complications, we must operate and remove the tonsils. You are in luck, Scott. You've got the best doctor. Awesome. Okay, doctor. Let's get the patient to the operating room. It should be one of these three rooms. Okay. Heart surgery is on the right. We already did that. Looks like some broken arm on the left. So let's try the middle one. This looks like the right room. Okay, it was. Please select the anesthetic mask from the table. Don't tell me what to do, Laura. I'm telling you. Don't tell me. I know what I'm doing. Anesthetic mask. Okay. Good job. Wow, it's about time. About time gave me a compliment. I'm working my butt off here. Okay. Here you go. Select the right amount of anesthesia that the patient needs. Move the valve until the needle reaches the green zone. Okay. Crank. A little bit more. Oh, there we go. There you go. Perfect. Now, let's wait for the patient to fall asleep. Okay. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Nighty night, nice, Scott. Don't worry. When you wake up, you're going to feel great. Your, of course, your, your throat's going to hurt. You have to eat jello for like a month, but you'll be fine. Great work, doctor. Now you must select a breathing tube from the table. Okay, breathing tube. Oh, this is what they have to do? Uh, of course, this is what you have to do. I'm an expert. I know what I'm doing. Here you go. Wow, that went up far. That's tickling his brain right now. Okay. <laughs> Please select a retractor from the table. Okay, retractor. Retractor, here you go. Great. Now use the retractor to open the patient's mouth. Ooh. Wow. Good. Now we're ready to remove the tonsils. Wow. Okay, here we go. Select the forceps from the table. Forceps. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna pinch this little sucker on the left. Very good, Doctor. Now use the forceps to grip the left tonsil. Okay, here we go. Buy him. Oh, looks like a rotten egg. Oh, oh. Now, so good. Now select the cauterizer. Okay, cauterizer. Now turn on the cauterizer. Okay, press the green button. That's easy enough. Now calibrate the power of the cauterizer. Its counter must reach 20. All right. Maximum powder, Captain. Here you go, 20. Ooh. Now use the cauterizer to cut the tonsil. Ooh, all right. Bah! Ooh, we're on a timer now. Five minutes and little Scott doesn't make it. Don't worry, you're in good hands, Scott. <laughs> Most of the time. Use the cauterizer again to cut the other side. All right. Here you go. There you go. Very good. Now select the guillotine clamp. There's a clamp called guillotine. I don't like that. Why would they call it that? Ooh, look at that. It, it last suited like a little pony. Wow, nice. Oh, a few veins have begun to bleed. This is nothing to worry about. Just use the cauterizer to cauterize them. Please select it from the table. Ooh, okay. You're bleeding, Scotty boy. Don't worry about it. I got you. I got you, big guy. There, all better. Now we must remove the other tonsil. Please select the forces on the table. Okay. Now we'll do the exact same thing to the other side. Uh, pinch it up. There you go. Cauterizer from the table. Okay. We're going to do a little incision, Scott. You're not going to feel a thing because you're on contest. <laughs> Fantastic work. Wow. Her compliments are getting better and better. I like it, Laura. This is the type of work I like from you. Now, use the cauterizer again to cut the other side of the tonsil. Okay. There we go. Now, guillotine clamp. I like to call it the lasso clamp. That's better. Sounds better. Lasso. There you go. There we go. We push this little sucker off. It goes. Ooh, you're bleeding again, Scott. Scott, you're a bleeder. Good thing I've got my magic wand cauterizer that stops all bleeding. Now select the water spray. Water spray? What? We're going to drown the little sucker? Bad enough he took his tonsils out. Now we're going to drown him. <laughs> oh. Now we must select the surgical suction for the table. Of course, we're not going to drown him. I was just kidding. Just a little operation joke. Here we go. There, see, he's fine. He's fine. Now, please remove the retractor, okay? There you go, retractor. Done. Finally, remove the breathing tube from the patient's nose. Oh, there you go. Oh, throw that away. Excellent, doctor. Now we have to go to the hospital's pharmacy. To the pharmacy we go. Da -da -da -da. You must select the correct post-op medicine for the patient. Ooh. Okay, ibuprofen. Looks like it's for a stroke. You don't want an inhaler or injection. What, the steroids? We're going to give Scott steroids. <laughs> That'll be an extra charge, Scott. 
but you do great at sports or weightlifting. Okay, I think it's ibuprofen. Of course it is. Okay, it's gonna be ibuprofen. There you go. You've done a great job, doctor. Liquid ibuprofen is a medicine that can be taken every six hours to hydrate the throat and help suppress pain. I'm sure the patient will recover in no time. I know he will. I know he will. Wow, we did it. Thanks, Doc. New mode unlocked. All right, there you go, Scotty boy. Good as new. Don't forget to pay the receptionist on the way out. And don't forget the tip for good old Daisy boy. I love tips. Ha ha ha. I can't talk with you now. I've got to go do some scoliosis surgery. Oh, let's go. All right, here we are at operation number two. This is scoliosis surgery. Now, for those who don't know what scoliosis is, it's an abnormal curvature of the spine. We're going to fix it. Make it all nice and straight for her. Let's go. Here we go. Of course, do not try this at all. This one would be a bad one to try it on. Ooh, oh, what a cutie little girl. Meet Lisa. Hi, Lisa. She's a patient with scoliosis. This has led to poor posture, and she's beginning to experience significant pain. We must operate immediately. We'll have to perform a spinal fusion. Don't worry, Lisa. I'll have you straight as an arrow in no time. Let's go. Okay, doctor, we need an x-ray to see inside the patient's chest. Let's get her to the x-ray room. It should be one of these three rooms. It's this one. It has to be. Here we go. Great work, doctor. Use the button so we can move the camera into position for the x-ray. Put the cross over her belly button and take the x-ray. Okay. Uh, angle this here. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. X marks the spot. Oh, on. There. Right there. Right there. That should do it. Ooh, her spine is very crooked. Good job. There is an image of the spinal column. It definitely has an irregular shape. That's right. Look at it. It's trying to form the letter S and doing a sad job of it. But that's not good for a spine. We're going to have to fix that. That's right. We need to move the patient to the operating room. It should be one of these three rooms. Oh, it's going to be this one. No, it isn't. What? Oh, it's this one. Oh, I'm so stupid. I don't even know where the operating room is. <laughs> okay, good work, doctor. Now inject the intravenous anesthetic. Please select the syringe from the table. Ooh, okay. Now anesthetic bot. Okay, here we go. Put some in here. Don't worry, Lisa. This is only going to pinch just for a little bit. Not much. Here we go. Oh, I hate that. That got, always got me queasy when I had to learn how to do that. Okay, great work, Doctor. Now we must wait four seconds for it to take effect. Okay, four seconds. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's good. Now we must sterilize the patient's back. Please select the tongs. Not the thongs, that's what Lisa wears. <laughs> I mean, oh, not Lisa. I mean, I mean, Laura. No, not Lisa. I don't know what Lisa wears. No, 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 no. Nurse Laura, that's what she wears. <laughs> oh, this got off. <laughs> this got off topic very quickly. Let's get back to the operation. Select the cotton from the table. I'm all distracted now. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. Wipe on the back. Wipe on the back. Okay, pick up the marker from the table. Oh, I got a marker. <laughs> We're going to draw a nice scenic thing on her back. Okay, now get your pens and pencils ready. You're going to maybe put some nice fluffy clouds in here. Maybe a tree. Maybe a Brooklyn. Uh, 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 a streaming brook or something? That'd be nice. Okay, here we go. Draw a line on the patient's back. Ooh, look at that. I went to school to draw that line straight. Top of my class. Now, we are ready to make the first incision. Please select the scalpel to begin. All right. Scalpel. Here we go. We're going to slice Lisa right up. Uh, all right. Down we go. Ooh, right down the middle of her back. Ooh. Uh oh. Timer started. Now pick up the retractors from the table. No more fooling around. Oh, we got to open her up really good. Oh, there's her spine. Holy crap. Please select the drill to make six holes in the bone. Drill. We're going to do some drilling. Oh, boy. This is one of my favorite surgeries. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Oh. We're going to put some screws or something in here. Ooh. Look at that. Have you ever seen such beautiful drill holes? Perfection. Now pick up the rods from the table. Oh, of course. Oh, I know what we're doing. Putting rods in to straighten it. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's starting to straighten already. Look at that. Good work. Now pick up the screws on the table. Oh, yeah, of course. We can't forget the screws. That would suck. Here we go. Put them all in there. Put them all in. Nice. There. Now we must use the screwdriver. Please remove it from the table. Screwdriver. 
Tighten them up nice. Handy Phillips screwdriver. You never thought they'd be used for this, did ya? <laughs> when you're putting it, next time you're putting a painting on the wall, think of this. The same screwdriver could be used in a scoliosis operation. Ooh. Now pick up the clamps from the table. All right, clamps. Oh, there we go. Or select the tongs from the table. Here we go. Wow. Pick up the interbody fusion cage from the table. It contains parts that will merge with the inter <laughs> vertebral disc. This will help create a stronger spine. All right. This is so cool. These games are fun and you actually learn how some of the operations are done. This is very cool. Of course, I know it all already. I went to middle school for 47 years. That's why I know. Now we move the clamps from the intervert. Okay, here we go. Wow, we need to adjust the rods, doctor. Please select a medical wrench from the table. Medical wrench, okay. Let's adjust these just ever so slightly. There you go. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good. Really good. There you go. Retractors. Now we gotta sew her back up. Now select the needle from the table. There we go. Thread. Suture. What? Now select the thread. Where is the thread? Oh, there it is. Right there. I'm blind. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. You've done a fabulous job, Doctor. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. I'm starting to like you, Laura. I love your compliments. I'm sure the patient will cover in no time. Oh, there we did it. We did it. All right, there you go, guys. Another successful operation. Lisa's going to be able to stand up nice and tall. Thanks. Good old tasty boy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, as always, I am your Canadian ginger taste. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Still the happy little clown. Let's build some happy little trees. There are no limits here. Start out by believing here.